mastering the third conditional would have in questions unraveled. Hello, language learners. Today, we're going to dive into a fantastic aspect of English language learning, third conditional in questions. Specifically, we're going to understand and master the usage of would have in these questions. So buckle up and get ready to power up your English skills. Before we get to the heart of the matter, let's do a quick recap. Third conditional is used to talk about hypothetical or unreal situations in the past and their possible results. It follows this structure. If plus past perfect, would have plus past participle. But how does this work in questions? Let's find out in the next section. When we want to ask about unreal or hypothetical situations in the past, we use would have in questions. For example, if you had seen her, what would you have said? Here, the situation, seeing her, did not happen, and we're asking about the hypothetical outcome, what the person would have said. The structure of these questions is as follows. Would plus subject plus have plus past participle plus if plus past perfect? Pay close attention to the word order. Here are some examples. Would you have bought the car if it had been cheaper? What would she have done if she had missed the flight? Answering these questions generally follows this pattern. Subject plus would have plus past participle. But remember, you're expressing a hypothetical outcome, so there's room for imagination. Some example answers. Yes, I would have bought the car. She would have taken the next flight. To truly master the use of would have in questions, practice is essential. Start by forming your own questions and answers using this structure. Then move on to having conversations or writing stories using would have questions. The more you use it, the more natural it'll feel. And that's a wrap. We've explored how to use would have in questions, the key to unlocking more complex conversations in English. Remember, learning a language is a journey, so don't rush. Keep practicing and you'll be a master of would have questions in no time. Until next time, keep learning and happy studying.